Hey guys, Mike Cricket 113. <clears throat> Hope everybody's having a good one. This is my Icon uh, IC27H. Older radio, a uh, gentleman gave to me uh, when I first got my ticket. There's the microphone for it, the HM-23 uh, uh, DTMF mic. But anyway, uh, when I got this radio, you, you know, years ago, uh, I can say that now, it only had these two wires coming off. It didn't have anything else, so I kind of jury-rigged... Uh, something up and uh just recently the fuse broke on it i guess uh not really sure how that happened i was talking on it one night and uh either it got too hot probably because i had the wrong gauge wire on it or something it just came apart but it, of course this thing's pretty old as it is and uh it's just a little dismantled because i tried taking taking it apart I know you gotta twist these and get it off to get the fuse out, but the fuse is probably blown anyway. But in the interim, I didn't have another one of these. Uh, so I went to the uh, hardware store and got a uh, an inline uh, fuse holder for 10 amps, because that's what the radio is, a 10 amp when it's, uh, when you're transmitting. So I just used these little connectors here. I was gonna solder it, and I probably should have, but uh, couldn't find my heat shrink and I didn't feel like leaving the house. So I put one of these, uh, these little connectors on there. And then put the, uh, this, these are just, uh, the older cars, uh, had these little fuses on there. You know, they have 10, they have, uh, 15, 5 amp, 20 ampers. These are little 10 amp, uh, car fuses. It works just fine. It's really good because you can get them at a uh, auto supply store. <clears throat> you can get, get them at the hardware store in the electrical section. Uh, so yeah, you know, it's just something uh, to get the radio back up and running. I use this as a backup. And sometimes I use it for uh, just two meter, obviously. But I use it for a backup and then I also use it uh, in the shack sometimes when I want to be able to talk on my local simplex. And also use my uh, Yesu 991 Alpha for HF. So let's see if she works. I got it hooked up to the uh, power supply there. So let's see if it works. And there we go, we got power again. So I'm really happy about that. But anyway, uh, just wanted to show you that. And uh, it's just something you could do to get your, uh, get radios that you may just have, you may just have a Somebody just cut them out of a car or whatever. I don't know what happened to this one, to be honest with you. But you need them get, get you need to get them power and get back on the air. So you but you know it's good to have that fuse in there on the positive side. So look in your manual or look it up online. See what kind of amp draw draw your radio has with uh, uh, transmission. This one's like nine amps, ten amp will work fine, just fine as a fuse. Uh, most CB radios. Uh, you know, they're only about a three amp fuse, maybe a five amp fuse. And uh, so there you go. You never want to go anything higher than what the radio calls for. Uh, because if there's ever an issue, then the fuse is not going to blow. And keep your radio safe and yourself safe. So anyway, I hope everybody had a good weekend. Hope everybody's doing well. I've been trying, trying to clean this shack up over here. Uh, it's getting there <laughs> little by little. And uh, yeah, that's what's going on. This is Mike Cricket 113. Have a good one, guys. Take care of yourself.